right, we are here, guys. Boise, Idaho. That was a long drive, and honestly, that was probably one of the most scenic drives that we've been on, but it was crazy. It was like uphill most of the way, a lot of twists and turns, so I just didn't bother to try to film much of it. Here's our site for the night. We are at another KOA, which is like our park of choice, <laughs> and this is another journey. This is the second KOA journey that we've been to in a row that had like an indoor pool. That's very strange for a KOA journey because usually a KOA journey is like a dirt lot. And the KOA holiday is usually the good one. But I don't know, these past two we've been to, they've been journeys and they've been pretty dang good. So right there we are today, guys. Scenic Idaho. We were in Washington this morning and I filmed a Spirit Halloween there. Then we took I-84 all the way down through this corner of Oregon and straight over to Boise, Idaho. Tomorrow it's Salt Lake City in Utah, then up through Wyoming, and we're ending it in Montana before we make a beeline back home to Ohio. I am one tired boy, and I know that my lovely wife is a tired girl. <laughs> Okay, so we are here. We made it to Salt Lake City, Utah. And right now, we are actually at a section of the Salt Lake. First of all, look at these mountains over here, guys. How incredible is that? But yeah, we're over here right now at the Visitor Center um, at the Great Salt Lake National Park, I guess it's called. We're gonna go in here and see what kind of stuff they sell that's made of salt, apparently. And then we're going to go down and see the Salt Lake. All right, welcome to the Great Salt Lake State Park. Apparently this explains it all. Look at this big old hunk of salt. And of course, Marion goes straight for the t-shirts. <laughs> Great Salt Lake. I mean, what kind of a thing are you looking for, babe? My happy place. Great Salt Lake. Why would the Great Salt Lake be your happy place? That's kind of strange. What do you got there? Yeah? I like the color. Get it. Yep. Oh look, we got little gold coins for the Great Salt Lake. We got stickers here of all kinds. Oh, I like the sunglasses. That's pretty cool. And here we have actual salt for sale. Is this pure salt, babe? Maybe that's what you're looking for. Yes. Right here. Crystal, yeah, or Great is... Salt Lake crystal bombs. What? These are soaking salts. Oh. Petrified snowball. What in the world? Saltwater taffy. Yeah, look at that. I think my dad likes that stuff. Look at this. We have Christmas ornaments made out of the salt. An angel. A big snowflake. Here's one that's shaped like the state of Utah. And here's a vial of the actual salt that comes from the salt lake. Marketing genius. Well, that gift shop was beyond boring. <laughs> Truthfully, it was like the most lame gift shop we've been in anywhere, I would have to say. So here is, well, beach access down there, Silver Sands Beach. But this is apparently part of the uh, this Great Salt Lake. We're gonna go and see what's over past these rocks here. Because so far, it ain't blowing my skirt up. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're looking at right here. Um, I think what we saw the last time when we drove through here on I-80 was all this stuff over here. Because we just, just saw like miles and miles of white and even people pulled over out walking around on it. This is where at, we're at right here, overlooking the water and the actual lake right here. 
So this is pretty interesting. The ocean is 3.5% salt. The Great Lakes are 14 and 25%. Great Salt Lakes, I mean. And the Dead Sea is 33% salt. Look at this. Since the mid-1800s, people have enjoyed swimming in the lake. The high concentration of salt allows people to float like a cork with little or no effort. And if you look out here, you can see there are people swimming in the lake. Right past there. I don't know if you guys can see them on the camera or not. But yeah, there are actually people out there swimming. I don't know what the deal is with these rocks. How they're like spotted. I didn't see anything up here explaining that. But the one plaque does say that in like a matter of minutes, this could go to waves up to like 10 feet tall. I want to see that. So I don't know if it was just that we were like expecting something completely different but i mean in my personal opinion that was like the most uneventful thing we've ever done <laughs> that was even worse than the uh that was at the very least up there with the bridge that tells time once a year <laughs> except tell what exactly were you expecting you don't know i mean if you were expecting solid. salt I guess. Solid. Well, it is solid. Yeah. It's in liquid form. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we have been in Utah for two days, I think. Mm -hmm. You want to say good morning? Good morning. Mm, love you. <laughs> and we are packing up, getting ready to go. Um, while we were here, I filmed one Spirit Halloween. I went over and started that video in front of... East High School, which is the high school they used in High School Musical, which I absolutely love. I've been wanting to see that for a long time. Um, and then, as you know, we went to that Salt Lake, and that was just, like, so boring. <laughs> I'm sure there was a lot more to see. If we would have driven another, like, 60 miles up the highway, we would have been able to see, like, what we saw before, which was all the actual white salt, and you could even walk out on it. But we just, we didn't have the time. We didn't feel like going that far. We had to go to get groceries and everything else. So, I don't know. Pretty uneventful trip here to Utah. But it was fun anyway. Um, the trip is starting to wind down. We have two more states to go to film Spirit in. Um, that's Wyoming and Montana. And then we're making a beeline home to Ohio and wrapping up some other stuff there but stick around because this story might not be over yet it might get very interesting very soon